Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. We begin with the explosion in Gatesville that killed one man and left 15 injured. Tonight, authorities are still trying to piece together the exact cause of the blast. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore has been following the story all day. He joins us now live from Gatesville with the very latest. Andrew. Doug, officials are still trying to figure out what happened exactly here. The blast happened just north of the hospital and we've been getting some mixed information on what the source of that blast actually is. So I'm here on the ground trying to iron it out. We've got line. to get it stable so that our investigators can actually go in and work. What caused the Coriolis Memorial Hospital to explode two days ago? At a press conference today, authorities say they still don't know. The answer is right here. The power plant, the, the boiler room, it, it's 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 connected but not connected to the hospital. That plant exploded to the north. We know there were natural gas lines connected to it. What was the kind of gas line um, that went into that room? I, I can't tell you at this point what kind of line it was other than it was a gas line. And Channel 6 has a report sent to us by the Railroad Commission of Texas from Atmos Energy that supplies that gas. The report states Midtex reported a natural gas explosion within the boiler room of a hospital which had been undergoing renovations. The Railroad Commission also says they sent an inspector out, but no one at the press conference today had seen this inspector. The Railroad Commission's not out here? No, they, they're not out here. Either way, the Texas Fire Marshal's office is not releasing anything until they get to ground zero. But we kept making calls and not 30 minutes ago, I got off the phone with a supervisor with the Texas Fire Marshal's office who was actually here on site. He said he actually did know about that Atmos report stating natural gas exploded. He said that was just information sent to Atmos by a third party and he's not taking that as fact. Live in Gatesville, Andrew Moore, Channel 6. All right, Andrew, thank you very much.